Okay, YouTube, we're going to do another video here on the XT1 series Cub Cadet, um, possibly XT2s as well. We're going to lift the tractor up just a little bit so this tire's off the ground. If you notice, there's a lot of slop in just that wheel. And you can replace them bushings, which I'm going to, but a lot of this slop is back and forth. I'll show you a little more once I get this cap off. Now this job is going to be a little messy. You're going to get some grease on your hands, so prepare yourself with paper towels. I just like to go in before I start messing with it. Kind of clean. You're going to get grease on your hands regardless, but you might as well try to clean a little bit. But yeah, if you see right here, a lot of that slops right there, right? So I went on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description, and I bought these. These are for poor man's power steering. Um, they sell them on Amazon, they're fairly cheap. I'll put the price in the video as well. I bought them, typically people will put them on the spindles, where down at the bottom, but these spindles are welded on. That cap is just there, and there, it's welded on on that side, the spindle is. I'm sure this side is the same. So what you need to do is, see if I can situate you. It can be a, a little bit of a pain getting these out, these cotter pins. But you got a cotter pin right here. Needle nose players are probably more ideal. I might grab some. If this don't work, you want to straighten the pin out the best you can. All right, so we got needle nose. Sometimes it's good to, uh, or it makes it easier to grab it like that and kind of pry forward using the washer behind it as leverage to pull that pin out. They're gonna be in there pretty good. Now it's, it is a good thing, like I said, to have extra pins to replace them in case you break them. Cause you know, they're soft, they're made to bend. Okay, so this is what holds your cap on. I just took it out to there. I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna put the roller bear, I'm gonna put this bearing on the outside, right behind where that cap was. Before I do that though, just like as I do when they do the poor man's power steering, I'm gonna open it up. And I just dip my finger in my cap because I keep my machine greased. There's grease in there, that's clean. Just wipe a little bit of grease up in these. Dress it up a little bit. Flip it over. Get a little bit on this side. And then these washers go on this a certain way. You'll be able to tell by the gapping. So get your gap right. Put your bearing back together. Then just slide it right on here. Slide it right back on, and you want to grab this with the prongs, or the ears, whatever you want to call them, facing out. Then, so yes, yeah, so I actually decided that I am going to replace this. We're going to go in there. Your washer has indents on it. Here, I'll pop it off. Your washer has these little indents right there on both sides. That's where your pin, you want that to line up with your hole so it'll slide through there easier. You get that pin in there. And you just grab a hold of the one end. Bend it right off. Make sure it ain't gonna fall out. Spin your tire, make sure everything's good. Then, you throw your cap back on. And just like that, that rolls better. And there's no more slop back and forth. Very minuscule. There's a little bit left, I guess, but not too bad at all.
there's going to be some play. But my theory on that now is with that bearing on the outside when I'm turning and it's putting all that pressure right there, it's just going to press on that bearing. Then you got little spinners too. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. That's how you do that. Get rid of some of that slop up there. Thanks for viewing. Please like.